Well, we're almost on half an hour here, but this is the final boss. <sighs> I'm expecting... Let's see if we can do this in less than 10 rig tries. <laughs> here we go. Queen Dido. Norman, stop! Morgan isn't here! It's no use. He's gone over the edge. Little bit. Now this boss is incredibly cheap. And the cheapness is dialed up to a factor of 50 on this difficulty. What the? Yeah, we can't hit him yet. There we go. We can only hit him when his heart's out. Which is a thing. Otherwise, he does that to you. And his attack is very, very, very difficult to avoid. As you can see. And you're stuck in this little arena where you can get hit. But I do know of a little cheap tactic that you can use. There is a cheap tactic here. If we um, open the item box that's here, funny enough, we can actually get invincibility frames. Which is really kind of interesting. And it works rather well. I think we're going to switch up to the shotgun. Now, this form isn't too bad. It's his second form where he starts getting really difficult. Now, you have to remember that when he's just walking around... You can't hurt him. And I'm I'm kind of fairly sure that you can only hurt him like maybe once with one shot, but I'm not sure. Maybe it isn't until his heart goes back in. So that's what we're gonna go for anyway. He does have a weak spot on his back, which we will get access to later. Uh oh. Yeah reloading. That wasn't great. Luckily, there are some herbs. Oh, hi. And we can also scan him for a decent chunk. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe a keep hold of the magnum. Right, there we go. He stumbled. So now we get round two. Round two sucks. This is where things get actually hard. You've got to hit him. The right one. And it's the one that's got the purple smoke. Keep your head in the game. I'm trying, Chris. Really trying here. Oh, there he is. And yes, I'm going to reload every time. Oh, this is not good. This is where he has several... This is where he has several fake-outs. And the fake-outs get worse and worse. Oh, he didn't fake-out that time. Curious. Now, it has been a little while since I've fought this guy, so... It's taking a lot of concentration. Now eventually he'll go down on one knee and you can get some damage. Get a good opportunity to do some damage to him. Oof. There we go. Alright, let's get away from him. Because the last thing you want is to be stuck in a corner with him. Which happens way more than it should. 
in this very small arena. Now doing this with a controller would suck. Would suck an awful lot. I'm just so glad I've got a mouse precision here. Just keep backing away from him. See? That should have hit, in my humble opinion. Come on. Eventually he will start coming at us like two or three sometimes. Is it like up to four times faking us out? It's something insane like that. And he gets quicker as well. Yeah, he's still not done yet. Oh, hello. Yeah, didn't get him. You need to heal after each time as well, after each fuck up. Otherwise you're gonna have a bad time. Oh. Can't get him because he was behind us. Which is nice. Now there are still some herbs that you can scan for if memory serves. But damn it. We don't really have time to do nonsense like that. Not really. There we go. And if you're sitting there thinking to yourself, gee, this this really just keeps going, doesn't it? Then yes, you'd be right. It really does. Just keep going. And we died. We died because I was trying to heal. So, one death. And if you're thinking, gee, do we really have to start that from scratch and do all that again? You'd be right. Literally, start from scratch. And I don't think there's really any way to speed this up. It is an absolute shit show of a boss. It's awful. And we're using the most powerful weapons that we could literally have. And this is why. This this perfectly illustrates why I detest um, higher difficulty level games. Because... Or how, higher difficulty modes. Because they're not designed to be fun. They're just torture tests of repetitive tasks and some people like that and that's fine but it's not for me but we will get through it because that is what we always do and I think the one of the more frustrating parts yeah we can't shoot through his hands so we can't hurt him one of the more frustrating parts with this boss is just how long it is as well. It just goes... Yeah, he decided to speed his attack up there. Right, let's try. And the shotgun's not doing enough damage to stun him. You know, the most powerful shotgun in the game. Yep. And as you can see, the damage is inconsistent as well. Sometimes it will hit you and knock you for crazy amounts of damage. And other times, not really. And I don't know if that's genuine RNG or if it's... Well, we know the game has awful hitboxes. Right, yeah, I'm not feeling this shotgun. It's not consistent enough for some reason. It was earlier. There we go. Right, that's the first stage done. Oh, Chris actually injured himself there. Or oh, Chris actually got some damage on him then. 
that's actually amazing. Yeah, well, I know there's only one Chris, but I can't see through the other character model. Right, I'm actually stuck on his character model there. Okay. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now if we go into that. Oh yeah. I guess that wasn't really a worthy trade-off. Because that was a hill for a hill. Come on. Now, it sounds stupid, but you're way better off just trying not to get hit than trying to get more health. Which, yeah, that really is as dumb as it sounds. Right, okay. Keep backing off, and hopefully he's going to appear in front of us. Yes. But again, getting one hit on him <laughs> doesn't exactly make you feel good. Because that's only one of 280,000 that are needed. Right, he's, yeah. See what I mean? He actually knocked us down from miles away there. And he did damage. Now, there is a very cheap tactic we could do that will make this boss quite easy, and that is by using the item box. If we go into the item box, we actually get invincibility frames. And that is... See, look, see, we were miles away from him, but we took huge amounts of damage there. The damage doesn't make sense. Alright. We're taking a lot of damage now. Oof, that was close. Almost. 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 Come on. There we go. I think he almost always appears in front of you when he does the double team, the double flash thing. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Alright, reload. Yeah, that was a complete whiff. Right, come on, you ugly fucker. There we go. Good luck trying to work out how much health this guy has. Bear in mind, each shot is that we're doing is almost 4,000 damage. He's going to appear. There we go. Almost 4,000 damage a shot. And he's just taking it like it's nothing. This is why you really want to be doing this on New Game Plus. Right, okay. Come on. I couldn't imagine doing this uh, on Inferno straight off the bat, which I'm not sure you can actually do, thinking about it. Right. Oh. Yeah, that time he totally missed us. Not sure why. We just got lucky. There we go. Really want you to move on to the third phase. Uh oh. Come on. This requires so much concentration. 25 shotgun shells, not really worth it. Yeah, I really don't know if you can double hit him. I, I should probably look that up at some point. Oh. Right. Be nice if this was a herb. Nope, it was custom parts. Couldn't possibly have been something more useless. Ooh. That was actually a double hit. Right, he's... 
Come on. Oh. Right, this is where things get hard. Right, eventually, there we go. Eventually, he'll fake you out four times. And then, yeah, one of these will be the right <laughs> one. But you can see how much damage we've taken. Yeah, it's just... And I'm pretty sure every time we die... We have to do that from the beginning. Yeah, we do. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to shut the mic off. Uh, and I'm going to do this as many times as it takes. And fuck you, Norman. I think that took five tries. So, the rifle, funny enough, is definitely the way to go. Even though apparently it does less damage. I don't know. Yes, you can die. Sooner rather than later. Thank you.
Rifles. Definitely the way to go. I hope he finds more comfort in death than he did in life. You are talking about a bloke who tried to end the world, right? The means of dispersion? The cruise ship is equipped with a UAV. That is your delivery system. Very well. Now show me the goods. Bonafide tea of this. No vaccine. Not yet. Yes, of course. A little bit of this could turn a city inside out. I think we're done. I'll be on my way. Who would have thought, yes? That the lowly terrorists would receive a helping hand from the venerable commissioner of the FBC. I like the way he refers to himself as a terrorist. Generally, quote, terrorists uh, like to think they're actually doing the right thing. It's not likely that you'll be wriggling out of this one. I seem to have underestimated the BSAA, and perhaps you as well. We found this in the off-limits area near Terra Grigia. We're done analyzing it, so you can have it back. Director O'Brien, surely you understand our dilemma. Without the Terra Grigia panic, the ignorant masses would be unaware of the threat that lies before them. Yes, you may in fact be correct. No one has the right to detain me. The world required my guidance. It was all for the greater good. You're only fooling yourself. You said yourself, abandon hope, all ye who enter here. But I'm not Dante, and you're not Virgilius. Morgan Lansdale. You are hereby relieved of your position as FPC Commissioner. And I'm placing you under arrest on suspicion of conspiring with Beltro in the planning and execution of the Terra Grigia Panic. With all due respect, Director O'Brien, the BSAA is making a huge mistake. Where have I heard that before? Hmm. Episode 12, The Queen is Dead, end. Um, so there we go. Oh, I actually only died four times. Which, you know, <laughs> is still pretty bad, I guess. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I I thought I thought that was going to be a ten death minimum there. So to only die four times, I guess I'll be happy with that. To be fair, if I'd realised just how good the rifle was, um, if I'd used the rifle off the bat, we probably could have uh, maybe got that down to two deaths, perhaps, because he really is easier with the rifle. I don't know why you you know when you look at the way damage works in this game um, but who knows we know the way hitboxes work and everything works in this game is pretty poor so maybe the way the damage is calculated is equally poor I'm not sure but anyway we got through it that was revelations on inferno difficulty uh, actually wasn't that hard at all um, is it going to tell us how many deaths we had total? Kind of curious. We can finally reveal what happened at Terra Grigia. Yeah, but the cost was high. The BSAA will have to be overhauled. The storm is gone now. But how long will it last? 
How long indeed, Joe? How long indeed? After Morgan Lansdale's arrest, the FBC was dissolved, with the majority of its agents and resources transferred to the BSAA. <laughs> the BSAA would then be reformed into an anti-bioterrorism organization under the auspice of the United Nations. Of course, you didn't think they would die. They're too funny to die. Keith Lumley is now a leading figure at the BSAA's East African branch due to his accomplishments. Hmm. Quint, on the other hand, continues to refuse promotion to any leadership position, but he still works at the BSAA's main headquarters in the R&D department. Looks like Parker's trying to read. Parker was found adrift offshore the Republic of Malta in the Mediterranean Sea and was rescued. After a month of medical treatment, Parker returned to his position as a special operations agent for BSAA's main headquarters and we never heard of him again. Clive R. O'Brien decided to take responsibility for his actions and step down from his position as head of the BSAA. Stardew Valley, eh? He is currently an advisor to the BSAA and is also writing a detective model, uh, novel from the comfort of his own home. Fair dues. And Chris and Jill are about to confront Wesker. And as for Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield, they have no idea what horrific fate awaits them. Yeah, Resident Evil 5. Yep. That was the beginning of the slide into the shit show that Resident Evil became for a while. So yeah, um, that wasn't actually that hard. It, mm, I probably wouldn't be in a rush to do it again. And to be fair, I probably wouldn't be in a rush to play this game again. It's definitely aged. And although it's still a lot of fun... Almost too easy, wasn't it? The company let them take Morgan out with the trash. Tough world. You filed a report on this. By the way, why save Parker? I have my reasons. The BSAA isn't as useless as I thought. Things could really heat up. Indeed. The fun's just getting started. So it turns out they were working together all along. In a completely throwaway scene here that leads to absolutely nothing. And there's the T Abyss virus, which will never be mentioned again, most likely. So yeah. The vestibule of hell. We died 26 times, and we unlocked the infinite rocket launcher, which, eh. This isn't really a game where that seems like it would be fun to use, but... You can now use the save data to start a new game with all of your equipment intact. Would you like to save clear data? Uh, yeah, sure. Hmm. I'll drop one there. So yeah, um, it definitely isn't the terrifying experience that I, I really did think it would be. I was a little bit nervous with doing this, but, but anyway guys, thanks for watching, and as always, till next time.